أناب حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه سمو الشيخ محمد بن سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة لحضور الاحتفال الذي أقامته سفارة المملكة المتحدة في مملكة البحرين بمناسبة عيد الميلاد الثالث والتسعين لصاحبة الجلالة الملكة إليزابيث الثانية ملكة المملكة المتحدة وشمال إيرلندا وفي الكلمة التي ألقاها خلال الاحتفال قدم سموه التهاني والتبريكات لجلالة الملكة بهذه المناسبة منوها بما قدمته جلالتها من جهود كبيرة أسهمت في جعل المملكة المتحدة نموذجا للأمن والاستقرار منوها سموه بما يجمع المملكتين الصديقتين من شراكة وثيقة وممتدة لقرون يدعمها التعاون الثنائي المتميز والاهتمام بمواصلة تطوير وتعزيز هذه الشراكة عبر الدعم الذي تلقاه هذه العلاقة من حضرة صاحب الجلالة عاهل البلاد المفدى وصاحبة الجلالة ملكة المملكة المتحدة وشمال إيرلندا وأشار سموه إلى ما يؤكد عليه جلالة الملك المفدى وجلالة الملكة إليزابيث الثانية من قيم تتمثل في احترام وجهات النظر المختلفة والبحث دوما عن الأرضية المشتركة التي تجمع ولا تفرق وأكد سموه على أسس الشراكة التاريخية بين المملكتين اللتين يضمهما تحالف قوي وصداقة وثيقة شهدت عليها العلاقات الراسخة التي تجمعها في محطات بارزة على صعيد العلاقات الثنائية بين البلدين في المجالات الدفاعية والتعليمية والاقتصادية بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Your Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is an honor to be with you today as a representative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to celebrate the 93rd birthday of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. On behalf of the Kingdom's leadership and the people of Bahrain, please allow me to extend sincere congratulations to Her Majesty the Queen on this happy occasion. The last 93 years have seen great change. The world is moving forward at tremendous speed. And yet throughout her reign, Her Majesty the Queen has remained a model of stability. I know I speak on behalf of the whole kingdom when I thank Her Majesty for her years of tireless service. Every generation faces fresh challenges and opportunities, but no generation stands alone. We can always rely on the wisdom of our elders to guide us. I recall that His Majesty the King once said that there can be no progress without common understanding. This is a sentiment shared by Her Majesty the Queen, who in a recent speech noted that we should never lose sight of the bigger picture as we look for answers in the modern age. I could not agree more. Respect for different points of view, a commitment to seeking common ground, these are virtues that should guide our lives. They are also virtues Her Majesty exemplifies every day. Over the last 67 years, as a sovereign, Her Majesty has stood witness to many of the defining moments in modern British history. Throughout that period, it is little wonder that Her Majesty has remained steadfast, a beacon of continuity in a changing world. For over 200 years, our two kingdoms have stood side by side in friendship. Our relationship is defined by mutual respect, shared interests, and a shared commitment to global stability. Last year, Bahrain and the United Kingdom demonstrated this commitment with the launch of the UK Naval Support Facility in Jafir. The arrival of HMS Montrose on a three-year mission to the Gulf just days ago serves as only the most recent example of that commitment. Just recently in December, I completed the All Arms Commando course with the Royal Marines at CTC Limston. 50 feet up, just about to hang off the death slide, following a contemporary's double leg break the day before, which upon event we were reassured he did nothing wrong, it was only the nature of the course. I couldn't help but think, what on earth are you doing here? Upon completion, however, I gained a whole new sense of appreciation and respect for Royal Marine personnel passing through our island on assignment. 
But defense cooperation is just one element of our partnership. Education is another area of long-term cooperation, with 2018 marking the establishment of the British University of Bahrain, the kingdom's newest institution of higher learning. Turning to economic cooperation, bilateral trade between our two kingdoms continues to go from strength to strength, particularly in the financial services and startup sectors. In February, in partnership with the Duke of York, we hosted Pitch at Palace 2.0, a joint initiative to help entrepreneurs make their business aspirations a reality and drive sustainable economic development. Taken together, our centuries-long partnership supports economic growth and cultural exchange and safeguards stability and peace in the region. And I have no doubt this relationship will continue from strength to strength under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad and Her Majesty the Queen. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, on behalf of the Kingdom's leadership and all of the people of Bahrain, allow me to congratulate Her Majesty the Queen on the occasion of her birthday and join you in celebrating the enduring partnership between our people. Thank you. وخلال الحفل الذي حضره عدد من أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة ألقى سفير المملكة المتحدة سايمون مارتن كلمة شكر فيها سموه على حضور الاحتفال بالنيابة عن جلالة الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه ونوه فيها بالعلاقات التاريخية بين البلدين الصديقين التي تجاوزت مدى المئتي عام وتتواصل فيها محطات التعاون الوثيق <تصفيق> 